Hey there, little bunny friend. You know that one of my favorite ways to learn math is by playing games, right? <laughs> so if you don't mind, I'm gonna have you hang out and learn today's lesson with us, and then at the end, we'll play a game together. Does that sound good? Great, well you get your things, let's get started. numbers that are close to 10 and we'll talk about the Singapore math strategy that we can use to make it a little um, more manageable for us in our thinking. So I wonder if you can count the numbers that I've built here. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, and this is 8. I have 48 plus 24. When we look at this grid, 48 is pretty close to a number that is in the tens. Can you see what we're close to? That's right. If I just had two more here, rather than being in the 40s, I'd be in the 50s. And wouldn't it be easy to add a number if I get it into the 50s? So what if we give that a try? What if I come over here to my 24 and I take these two and I complete my 10 by putting them right there. Now, can you see that I have 50 plus 20? I no longer have 24. I now have 22. 50 plus 22 is? That's right, we can do that in our heads, 72. So that's what we will be working with today. And while I will only model this one with our base 10 blocks, I encourage you to be looking at more of these at home, uh, either with base 10 blocks or with the place value disks. But for our purposes today, we'll be writing everything out. You got all that, Bunny? All right, here we go. Let me even just model what that uh, equation might look like. We had 48 plus 24. Now, it could be that you want to choose to make the 24 into a 30, but because 48 is so close to 50, I like going that direction. So let's make a number bond out of the 24 based on needing the 2 here. That will leave us with 22 over here. Now, I really like when I'm working, especially on the whiteboard, to do the loop here Later, I'm just going to do this in my mind, but I want to show my work for now, and I'm saying 48 plus 2 equals 50. Now I can see that I need to combine both of these to get my answer of 72. Wow, look at you go, adding these. What's exciting about this is these are double-digit numbers that would require us to do renaming, and in fact, we are doing renaming. Um, but you're able to do them mentally, or you will get better and better at it if you're not doing it just yet. Let's try another one. Let's do this one. It's really similar to what we just did. <laughs> 48 plus 9. Again, we have the task of trying to figure out which one should I bump towards the 10. And again, 9 is so close to 10, that's the one I want to go with. You might like to do it differently, but I'm gonna say, well, I only need one to make this a 10. Making a number bond over here. I have to check and make sure that this number is correct. So I'll say 47 plus one, yep, that equals 48. Then look at that. Nine and one make 10. And 47 and 10 make 57. Look how we can do that so smoothly together. Let's try um, one more this way and then I'll show you another little strategy we can use. 67 plus 68. Even though our strategy today is focusing on the tens, I've got one other strategy I wanna show you here. Okay, which one of these numbers do we wanna to bump to the nearest 10? Again, I'll just go with the 68 because I only need to take two to 
add to it. I make my number bond over here. You know, remember I told you, those of you who are with me for level two, I told you number bonds are gonna come in handy for a long time. Here we are at level three, still using our number bonds. And 68 and two, we just move up to the next 10 for 70. Now, this is still a little tricky for some of us. 65 plus 70. So I'm gonna imagine that inside the 70, I see a 60 plus a 10. And the reason for that is I know that 60 plus 60 equals 120. But I still have my other 10, and now I have this five. And that's 15. Now I can put those together. One. 35. So that's one way we can do that story or that equation, but let's look at one other option. This is what I just love about math. First of all, there are so many different ways to solve the puzzle. And second of all, we could spend time on one problem, just doing it lots of different ways. The other thing I noticed here is this combination of doubles. And I love doubles. So I could also say 60 plus 60 equals, maybe I could make a little tent, and that equals 120. Now, if I know that seven, what seven plus eight is, I can put that together, and if I'm a little stuck, I can think, well, there's a seven inside of eight, so seven plus seven is a double, and we know that's 14. One more from the eight gives us 15. 120 plus 15, can you see if we put those together? Again, we get 135. Look at what you can do, just in your mind. Okay. I have a little game for us to play, and that's what Bunny's gonna help me with. I'm going to use my hundreds chart, and I have some cubes. Regular dice won't work for this particular game because I want to be able to use all of the digits from zero to nine. So this cube is labeled zero to five and this cube is labeled four to nine. And each player will end up rolling the cubes two times. And it's going to be a little bit like, um, you know how with tic-tac-toe you want to get three in a row? We want to get three sums in a row. So let's give this a try. Hey bunny, you wanna go first? <laughs> okay, so the first number bunny got was 46. I'm just gonna write this down for you. I know you're pretty good at these things, but I'm gonna help you out there, bun. And then bunny's gonna roll the dice again, the cubes. There we go. This time, 45. All right, well, let's work together to add that up. Let's see, we could get four from this one. What does our 46 become if I add four to it? That's right, it becomes a 50. Oh, you know what I noticed I didn't do, and it's so important, is we wanna make sure we complete our number bond. Whew, there we go. All right, Bun, you get to put 50 and 41 together. What does that give us, girls and boys? Did you say 91? There we go. So there's Bunny's little spot. Okay, let's give me a turn. No, now it's my turn. Let's see what I get. Aw, I could say I get 90, but I just know that um, if I have a much higher number, I'll be off my chart. So I'm gonna say that I have nine. All right. Okay. And now I have 28. Off the top of your head, do you know that uh, nine is so close to 10 that we could just add 10 to 28? We get 38, but we've added one too many, so we have to say it's, that's right, 37. And that's where my marker would go. So Bunny and I would continue to play until one of us got three in a row. 
So I really hope you'll give that game a try because remember that when we're learning math through games, it sparks up the fun center of our brain. And you know me, I think math is fun anyway. Bunny, you did a pretty good job today. All right, everybody, make sure you work hard today in your textbook and workbook, and I'll see you back here next time. Thank you.